just gonna do a quick um, room tour of this place before I leave so I can get on my vlog. Okay, I'm gonna run now. So when you enter, this is like kind of what you walk into. We've kind of got like a few things in the racks here. We've got the double bed there. We've got our bathroom here, which is really good. We've got the shower, toilet, sink, little place we can store some stuff. And then you keep walking, we've got another bunk bed there, we've got a set of lockers, we've got kind of like a little kitchenette, but we don't have, um, it's just a sink really. But yeah, it's cool. Um, this is all of our friend Eden's stuff, she's just moved here. And then yeah, we go up the stairs, and there is, is everyone decent? Um, yeah, three bunk beds up here, beautiful sky. Guy. Oh, how nice with the palm tree out there. That's such a vibe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this oh, is like gentle. luxury. <laughs> and then we've got the bunks up here. Over there. Here. And then we've got a full length mirror here. Yeah. Let me go back downstairs. And that <clears throat> is the room tour. It's actually so spacious. And I love, I love how it's got the split, like, the split layer. Because it doesn't feel like there's that many people in the room. So this, this is outside. Where we had dinner last night. They put on a free dinner, which is so good. And then, yeah. we ha Oh, hey, how are you? And then we have um, the pool. And yeah, it's sick. Literally such a cool place. How cute is the interior of this place, though? And then yeah, we've got the car park, and then this is our room. Enjoying the beach. So pretty, we're just going for a nice walk. And yeah, then we're going to go out for brekkie with our friend from the dorm. I'm so excited. dragon egg and yeah we're just at crystal castle now enjoying the beautiful forest and all the magical vibes oh my gosh i'm so happy It's just so beautiful and I just think it's so important to stop and just look at every beautiful part of life and if you're living a routine right now where it's stagnant or it's the same fantasize all the small things about life that you can take extra time to do those little things make everything really beautiful for yourself just like embrace all of the small opportunities because then your whole life will be so full and it won't just be this routine of the same stale energy. as well the way <laughs> I'm just having an acai so 
so good. Oh, guys, I just did like, it's kind of like a labyrinth walk, but it's not the labyrinth. I don't know what it was, but it was amazing. Like I had so many downloads of so many things. And like the words just kept flowing out of my mouth and it was just all about like going with the pull of where my body is taking me and how everything happens. Like you're meant to be pulled into a direction for a reason and yeah, it was just all about being free and going with the pull. Like the pull is the freedom. I don't know, it probably doesn't make any sense now, but it was just like wow. And then just a few things came up into my mind that I literally hadn't been thinking about for like a while or anything like that. And like oh my god, this is leaking. Um, and yeah, it was just like kind of a universe being like, you need to stop doing this. Like, I, I don't want to describe it because it's a little bit personal, but um, yeah, I just had like crazy downloads and it was really powerful and I feel so good. I just feel so bliss. I feel like, wow, just like in another world right now. I feel like it has taken me quite a few days to feel really back to myself. Like it's it's honestly taken me like almost five days to fully feel like myself from working and from just life in Adelaide, you know? And I just feel like that's insane. Like it's taken so long for me to kind of return to, yeah, like <clears throat> a state of feeling really pure and myself. But um, yeah, my trip's actually just been extended because like, it's like there's so much more I need to kind of um, discover, I guess. So essentially, it's also kind of been the case because of COVID as well. Um, if I extend my trip, then it means I don't have to self-isolate in South Australia when I come back, hopefully. But to be honest, if whatever happens, happens. Like when I found out I had to self-isolate, I made the best of this, this situation. And I just didn't feel any type of negative feelings towards it. I was just a little bit concerned about where my location would be. Um, because I'm moving house, like, as you know, um, the day that I get back from my trip. So, yeah, now that I've extended my trip, I'm so, oh my god, I'm so excited. And, um, yeah, we're going to head up to, to Noosa. We're just going to do a road trip. My burn is becoming a lot better. It's like a little bit stabbed, but now I have a hickey on this side. So that's just great. I just look like destroyed. But can I show you this new necklace that I got today? It's so beautiful. I love it so much. We've just gone into the sauna. I literally drove, just drove back from Byron now and I've just met up with Tegan. We're yeah. about to jump in the infrared sauna. I'm so excited. This is such a cute place. What's it called, Tex? City Cave. City Cave.
And it says Sabin. And then it's got some water. And a shower. So sweaty! <laughs> it was a good sauna though.